What's up guys, it's me Aaron from Evolution Daily and I am currently driving around the neighborhood in which I grew up. Pretty low income, uh, a lot of drug use in this neighborhood. Kids who I was growing up with, uh, they pretty much are all been in and out of jail. Um, you know, bad uh, heroin overdose situations. People I went to high school with are dead. People that I grew up in this particular neighborhood with, dead. Uh, or dead beats, even worse, honestly, in my opinion. Um, just not really fucking doing anything. I mean, just a lot of... It's just a real bad low-income area. And uh, my parents still live here, and it, it sort of... Um, I guess they have an exit strategy. It doesn't matter. Either way... I just got inspired as I'm driving around here um, to sort of just talk about how essential it is that if you do find yourself in an area where you are surrounded by failure, that you get out immediately. You get out as soon as possible. So we are absolutely, in 2015, we are blessed with the resources. We are blessed with knowledge. My life changed forever in December of 2012 when I discovered Real Social Dynamics and shortly thereafter I discovered the Joe Rogan Experience podcast. I consider Owen Cook and Joe Rogan to be my two greatest influences in this life. Um, before I discovered those two people, I had no idea that self-development even existed. I didn't know that there were people out there that, um, that made a living putting out products that change people's lives. I had no fucking idea. And the day that I was exposed to this, the day that I first saw Owen Cook giving a speech at the top of the Rockefeller Center all about ending negative thought loops, my life was changed forever. And, you know, we we have these accesses. I think that in 1950 and 1960 and 1970, sure, the occasional the occasional rebel, the occasional visionary would break free from the pack. They would go off and travel the world and they would explore and they would broaden their horizons and they would be exposed to the proper books and they would break free from an environment that seemingly had no positive effect or no positive end game really. And but it didn't happen often. It didn't really happen often. And I just feel so blessed in 2015 to have the resources available. The internet is just a goddamn miracle. I mean, my fucking Christ. The the amount of knowledge that you can take in in one hour on YouTube, in one hour, is just mind-boggling. Not only the resources you could take in in that one hour, but the books that you could be exposed to that even exist. I feel as though even so soon as, or as recent rather, as, you know, what? I mean, 1985, 1990, you grew up in some shit southern racist town in Alabama, and you're fucking stuck. I mean, when I was growing up in this shithole fucking neighborhood, I mean, just... You know, I mean, I, I don't even know. Maybe the this it's not doesn't look that bad, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't look horrible, but I mean, this place just fucking sucks. And when I was growing up around here, I mean, the cool kids, the coolest people, the people that I looked up to were like the ones who won the fights. Like the dude who like earned his fucking spot at the very back of the bus, the very back seat. People on my bus competed for the back seat. And when you won fights and shit, you got that back seat. The kids who I looked up to were the kids who were smoking cigarettes and pot on the back of the bus when we were in eighth grade. And I remember thinking like, man, I wish that like, I remember like fucking Kenny. I remember like Kenny and Josh and fucking Adam. Like, man, I wish Kenny and Josh and Adam would fucking invite me to the back of the bus to smoke pot with them. I remember thinking that when I was fucking 13, like I looked up to these people and shit didn't really change the older we got. Like the older we got, shit didn't really change. It was just sort of exemplified. It was like, the people to look up to now were like the people who are now selling the pot and fucking they still smoke cigarettes and they were still getting in fights all the time, whatever. Really just a strange environment. And I didn't really realize the poison drip that I was under. I, I really had no idea the effect that it had on me. And it's really, really interesting because I, I think that one of the key staples in self-development, I, I suppose one of the uh, one of the messages that gets thrown around the most 
is that uh, you are the average of the five people with whom you spend your time with the most. And I enjoy that quote. I really do. I think that that's a great idea. And I think that it really um, shines a light on the importance of ensuring that you are surrounded by positivity and success. But I, I would almost go as far to say, as, as back to the beginning of this video, the, the, the miracle of the internet, I would almost go as far as to change that quote and change that idea to, you are the sum of the five resources that consume most of your time. So you are the sum of the five resources in which you choose to spend your time. So what do I mean by that? I mean, if you are stuck, if you are fucking stuck, if you're watching this and you're a 15, 16 year old kid and, and if you know, you live with your, your family that you just, you kind of know they don't really have it together because you've been exposed now because of the internet to people that do have it together. Um, if you're that 15, 16 year old kid and you are living in that Southern town full of just racism and drug use and poverty and a bunch of people who are just coping and you really just don't see the light at the end of the tunnel. You know, if, if, if you are that kid and you are stuck, you can be, you, you can incorporate the Joe Rogan experience podcast into who you are. So it doesn't necessarily have to be the five people that you spend your time with the most. It's the five resources. So start taking in good materials. I want, uh, you know, if, if, if you are stuck, you know, a lot of you guys who, who are watching this video right now, you're, you're already into self-development and um, bettering yourself and you are on your path. You're on your journey and you're on your grind and just keep fucking going if you are. But, you know, if you're not, maybe if you're stumbling across this video based on maybe some keyword that I use to tag it or whatever, I, I want you guys to start listening to the Joe Rogan Experience podcast. Listen to the Tim Ferriss show. Read Tim Ferriss's books, The 4-Hour Workweek, The 4-Hour Body, The 4-Hour Chef. Um, listen to the audiobook, my favorite resource of all time. I've listened to this audiobook four times now, four times now. I have listened to The Power of Ambition by Jim Rohn. Again, my favorite resource of all time is The Power of Ambition by Jim Rohn. Listen to that one. Um, I think here, I'm pulling into my parents' driveway right now, actually, the house in which I grew up. I'm going to go in and say hello to my family. Um, but it is it is Thursday, and I wanted to make sure that I got a video up today, so I decided to make one here with my phone. They don't all have to be from my fucking fancy-ass DSLR, you know, with a skyline in the background. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and, you know, in the, in the section below, I'm going to make a list of maybe some of my other favorite resources, so that way I can help you guys farther your education and your self-development, so. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying everything that I'm doing here at Evolution Daily and um, enjoy your Christmas. Take care. Bye.